Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. So today we are going to start the second day of class. And today we are going to work on the Splunk search language. Suppose if you want to write a search language, the syntax looks like this. Index is equal to web. Source type is equal to access star. Status is equal to, you know, like that if you give then what and all present you know warm like the first few words we call as this search you know we will we are going to search for these terms in the events after that we will give a pipe symbol pipe symbol is nothing but you know later you are going to apply one command so you know after pipe symbol another search or another uh, function is going to apply here stats we have used the one command after that we have used the function and we using the argument and class and uh, no this is one other one after that again we are giving into the pipe again we'll use the command function argument so this is the normal you know uh, this diagram represents the search like uh, what are all the syntax components are there and how uh, how can we use this Splunk search language so these are all these uh, uh, five basic components are there in any of the search search terms commands functions arguments and classes in next few slides are in the demo wheel i'll get, let you know like how we can achieve that and this is the basic structure suppose if you write the you know, on the search if you're using the search pipeline from disk using the search you will make your data in a single table format after that using the command or using the function you will make that table into intermediate results tab after that another tab again you make that into intermediate results tab and later are applying the final command and we will make the final results table this is how the splunk you now works uh, from disk to the final results and uh, yeah. so the next one is the how you can do the you know, how can you make the preferences so now i am going to tell you the how to make your spl editor as you no know, uh, as per our use so i am going back to my splunk this is my local instance you can find it out like local host 8000 you can see here i am going into my splunk search so wherever i am now wherever i have stopped the work but i want to go to my home page i have to click on this you no know, the splunk logo by clicking on that logo i will be entered into you know, the home page after that i have one app over here the app name is search and reporting the search and reporting is default app in Splunk. That means you no need to add this app. It's a default app. Like if you want more apps, then I have to go, with, go to the Splunk base and from there I have to download the apps. Now I am going into the search and reporting app. Here, you know, from here, like uh, there's a settings tab will be there after the setting messages and uh, you know this is the user tab actually here the account settings and preferences logout will be there i am clicking on the preferences so here we have to like before we search anything we have to uh, keep uh, whatever wherever we are in time zone we have to keep that time zone over here why we have to keep the time zone is suppose your client you no know, for example my client in america and our ntp server like uh, network time protocol that server is at america time zone then i have to change my splunk time zone to uh, know that whatever texas or wherever it is i have to change it to that time zone why because the splunk uh, works on the timestamp you know all logs whatever the time come the timestamp will be applied you whether you are in it operations whether you are in a security whether you are in a cloud whenever the log come log have to uh, have some good timestamp otherwise while you troubleshooting stuff 
then a time mismatch will come and you couldn't able to uh, troubleshoot properly you could not able to find exactly where the problem is so time stamp is very much important so that is you will put the time stamp and you can keep the restart the background jobs so by clicking this splunk most of the jobs automatically will restart your data never be lost but uh, splunk will be more efficient and there is a uh, splunk editor will be there here you can go to the general and you can go to the full search assistant and you can click line numbers and search out of format by enabling all these options while we are when you are writing any search these will help you because as you are new to the splunk by you no know, search assistant full line numbers and search out of format so it will help you i'll show you how this will help and the next themes tab will be there this is optional tab suppose um, there is a black and white means simply the white background and black letters will be there light theme will give the multiple colors now for command it uses the blue for a uh, function it will use the pink for class it uses the orange so it will easy to understand whether our whatever i am writing is a correct or not it will be writing and next there will be a dark theme like if you are like on the black black background on the white letter you can do that now i click on the light theme and i am applying it okay so how this search assistant work i will show you now suppose index is equal to if i write like that even same like a google like by writing the few letters it will give you no know, uh, it already know what i have searched so it give the matching searches for me like what and all i can use suppose i want to check in the index is equal to web it will give the matching searches and also the matching terms i can by clicking on it it will add over here and i'm just searching for all time data okay so while i'm uh, searching the data here i can see the multiple fields are there the fields here nothing but the, you know once the data is coming into the splunk splunk will find out like uh, what uh, it will extract you no know, it will cut it will make the chunks of the data and it will identify what is the uh, 1665 means these are the bytes so it know this data by this source type like access combined web cookies this is the data whatever we have ingested here so from this it will find it finding out that uh, uh, this is the you know um, these are all the fields it will apply to this particular uh, data and we have the multiple fields here suppose i want to search some field you now there is a cart dot do is there the file is there so the file why it is a cart dot do is it's a simple is example data like suppose it's a kind of amazon flipkart kind of thing like where we cart the items row so this is the cart dot do and the multiple options we have got over here and suppose instead of small a if i give a capital a whether it search or not it searches and instead of i i will make capital i whether it will search or not it won't search so what i want to tell you um, no by you no know, doing this is field name whatever the field name is case sensitive but field value is case insensitive so just want to tell this difference so that's why i have took this uh, thing so now we will search you can also start searching with me you can find the you uh, know uh, in your splunk cloud if you want to find in which index your data is present you can go with the index is equal to star and uh, you can search the you no know, the data you can search the data for the all time or uh, last 7 days you can search and uh, once the data comes you can stop the search query if you go below there is a index term will be there see i have the total 
six indexes are there like training web main progress report hollywood class school so any of the index you can search else there will be one more index will be there which is a main index which is a default index you can note it down the name like index is equal to main with that also you can search in the cloud most of the data will be present on the index is equal to main